Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Today I wanted to double check one thing on the Nova 3 color. It's something that I didn't cover in the in-depth review because it's not such a major thing, but it's a very nice thing that it actually has it, and that's display controls. Basically, it does have some rudimentary color controls that you can adjust, so I wanted to test it out and see how it performs and what kind of settings give me the best results, how it reflects on the overall brightness, on the yeah, how much the colors can pop, the quality of the image, and yeah, the overall stuff. So let's check it out. Alright, so I'm gonna be checking out uh, the display controls mainly for the color performance because that's a big big addition as well uh, the ability to actually control the display panel um, on the Nova 3 at the moment but uh, more importantly on the Kaleido uh, platform. So this uh, is basically the default setting you will get it in the display control and you can always reset the default using this key here and by default it's called contrast is at 20, saturation is at 40 and brightness is at zero and that looks like this for example so I'm just gonna slide through a couple of pages and I'm checking out the ghosting and the sharpness of the color and just how nice the colors uh, look like okay so now let's adjust a little bit and let's increase the saturation a lot a little bit of contrast until it starts being too dark so let's try at 40 and brighten up the colors a little bit let's see we don't get too much brightening up as far as i can see there's some but it actually just turns into a bit more pale so i'll just leave the color brightness there maybe at one for this combination. So we're testing out color contrast 40, saturation 100 and brightness at 1. And yeah, the colors do tend to pop out a little bit more, which is definitely interesting to see, but so does the ghosting. So more color contrast you have, more ghosting you will have as well. Yeah, definitely more ghosting. And especially here with the text pages and everything. So, of course, when you clear it, clean it up, then it looks way, way nicer, especially this clash between blue or cyan color and the green. It's usually difficult to differentiate because they're very, very close on the color wheel. But um, yeah, it's able to kind of deal with it in a nice way. Now let's try the opposite. I, I like this image here because we have nice contrasts here, so I'm going to stay here while adjusting to kind of see uh, if you go more than 40 everything will just kind of break as far as color contrast go so i'm just gonna move the color contrast down to zero increase saturation to 100 now well, i'll keep the brightness at zero to see if we can get a nice combination of colors popping well they are definitely now popping and this kind of resembles um, a comic book, a printed out comic book, the, the balance of the colors and everything. So, so far I'm liking this combination a lot more. The ghosting is still quite prevalent. Uh, maybe a bit more contrast. Because it's a bit too dark. Let's try the 20 that was there at the beginning. Okay, refresh, a bit better. And maybe a little bit of brightness, because if I lower the color saturation, then it becomes uh, a lot darker and a lot more kind of, mm, obviously washed out but we can try and maybe increase the brightness a little bit or all the way and see what we get a very small difference but yeah you get a bit more of a washed out type of a look but the ghosting is still there very very prevalent so what i'm going to try to find my optimal type of uh, solution is brightness at zero, saturation 100 and color contrast at 
20, well, brightness at 1, I think. And let's see now, what do we get? Yeah, this, this is now looking fine. Let's zoom in. So the settings that I think I'm going to be kind of settling down on are color contrast 20, uh, situation at 100, and color brightness at 1. Okay, and that looks like this. Well, okay. I mean, it's definitely a good thing to have more control over these kinds of things. I'm always going to be a fan of being able to tweak things to your own personal liking. And in the case of Nova 3 Color, I think it, it actually works. The range is definitely good enough there that you can... It's not a major shift or a major change, but it is possible to fine-tune it and tweak it to your liking so that it's uh, more comic book printed paper like of an image it's uh, you got to be careful with the contrast and the brightness relationship because that will definitely have an impact on how severe the ghosting will be but overall i think it's a very very cool thing to have on the platform that you're able to tweak it and improve it just a little bit or customize it to your personal preferences i hope you liked the video if you did please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell to get notified when new videos on my deep guide are coming out thank you so much for watching and for the support, stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye!